Welcome to A Taste of Yin. A chance to have a taste of the deep peace and juicy stretches that Yin Yoga can give you in just a short 20-minute practice. Traditionally, Yin Yoga should be practiced with cold muscles, so it's best if you don't warm up or do any sort of workout before this practice. That way the poses will work on the joints, ligaments and connective tissues, which will help keep your joints healthy, flexible and strong. If you have blocks and or blankets, then maybe have them nearby as they can be useful in allowing you to relax even deeper in some poses. But if you don't have any props nearby, you can still do this practice without them. We begin sitting on the mat. You can curl the toes under if you want an additional toe stretch, or you can just sit on the heels like I'm doing. Bring the hands to the heart. Close your eyes and become aware of your breath. We chant OM together one time to connect with our inner body and with the space around us. First, empty all the air out of your lungs. Exhale it out. Now take a deep inhale through the nose and chant. Slowly open your eyes, bring the hands to the mat and sink back into a child's pose. Find your own edge here in child's pose. Bring the knees as wide as it feels good to you. The wider they are, the deeper the pose will be. Find a point where you feel a stretch but where you can relax deeply as we hold this pose for three minutes. Make sure to allow your body to release on its own. Don't force or push anything, just melt into the pose. If at any point it becomes too much, you may adjust to make it less intense but otherwise try to find complete stillness.
slowly come back up and down onto your stomach with the elbows under the shoulders. From here, place the hands where the elbows are into a sort of cobra pose, but different. This is called seal in yin yoga. Make sure you can straighten the arms comfortably here. If you can't, then place your hands farther away from you towards the front of the mat. They can even be on the floor outside of the mat. Each angle will provide you with a slightly different stretch. Once you find your own edge, then allow your whole back to relax completely. Relax your back and your legs. And breathe evenly. We stay here for one more minute. Slowly roll your shoulder blades down the back and come down onto your elbows again for a short sphinx pose. Also here, the closer your elbows are to your body, the deeper it will be. The forearms are parallel to each other, shoulders back and away from the ears. Your elbows are pulling the mat back a little and your heart is reaching forward through the arms. Breathe and open your heart. Slowly come down, place the hands under the shoulders, push back and sit down. Shoelace pose or knee pile pose. Place the right leg on top of the left leg and stack the knees directly on top of each other or as best as you can. Keep both sit bones on the ground, so press down to the floor with your right hip. Let the hands rest on the feet. And if this is enough of a stretch, you can stay here, or you can begin to fold forward slowly. Let your body release on its own, don't push anything. Maybe you go onto the elbows, and if you have a block, you can rest your forehead on it. Later on, if your body keeps releasing, then you can let the head rest on your fists or the hands, and maybe even on the ground. Breathe and relax completely. We stay here for two minutes.
Slowly come up and switch the legs. Stack the left knee directly on top of the right knee or as best as you can. Keep both sit bones on the ground, so press down with the left hip too. Hands can rest on the feet and you can stay here or begin folding forward. Remember not to push and just relax your muscles. It's perfectly normal for one side to feel very different from the other side. So listen to your body as if this was the first side. Again, you can go down on the elbows, maybe rest your head on a block or on your fists. But wherever you are, just relax and breathe. We stay here for two more minutes. Lastly, we'll do a yin forward fold, which is called caterpillar. Slowly come up and stretch the legs out in front of you. Feet hip width apart and don't lock the knees, you can keep them bent if you need. Feel both sit bones press into the mat and lengthen the spine away from the hips. Inhale deeply as you reach the arms up and lengthen. Then exhale as you reach forward with your heart towards the feet and then let your spine round and relax as you fold over your legs. If you're quite far from the legs, you can put blocks or blankets or even a pillow to rest your head down. Otherwise, just let the spine round, relax all your muscles and get as comfortable as you can. Maybe you rest your head on your fists and with time, maybe it releases all the way down onto the legs or even the floor. Close your eyes and release everything. Relax your arms, your legs and your neck. Relax your spine. Breathe deeply and evenly.
We stay here for three more minutes. Very slowly come up and lie down onto your back for Shavasana, our final resting pose. Get comfortable here. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Let the palms of your hands face up and the legs open and relax. Close your eyes and don't control your breath. Let it flow naturally. We stay here for two minutes. Allow your whole body to melt into the mat and release any tensions and worries. Give yourself this sacred rest and thank yourself for treating your body with love and respect.
I'll leave you here, but feel free to stay and rest for as long as you like. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste.